Well, good afternoon and welcome to Wednesday Night Recap. Wow. That was really horrible, but that's okay. We're Wednesday Night Recap. Um, we thought we'd throw a little vocal in there. You know, we hope, you, we hope your day is going well. And as always, Wednesday Night Recap, we talk about what we've been talking about in Bible study this past Wednesday night. Right. So this, this week, this is, the, this is the place. Right here. We are in the room where Wednesday night happens. Uh, great discussion, great time. You know, just if you've never been a part, it's very interactive. And you're not just sitting learning. You, you get to voice your opinion or your thoughts, and it's, it works good. Uh, we've been taking a look at the, name, the power of the names of Jesus. Uh, it's a study by uh, Tony Evans. And last night we looked at the high priest and lamb that Jesus is our priest and our lamb. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the, the fact that he's high priest. Perfect. And uh, you know, a, a, probably a common scripture to everybody. I'm just gonna read it, Hebrews chapter four, verse 16. Let us come boldly uh, to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. That's the NLT. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know what, when I think about that one, if you read verse uh, uh, 14, 15, and, uh, 14 and 15, it actually talks about everything that Jesus has done, that he has, uh, the priest who's entered heaven, that he understands our weakness, all these things. So because of what he's done and who he is, we can come boldly. And you know, usually, I don't know about you, but like I'm sure when you're playing the guitar, you feel this way. If you're confident with a song, you play it, oh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> or, or if there's something I'm doing I'm confident in, I'll be bold. Yeah. Because it's something I know or I've done. And this is very opposite because he's saying, um, because of everything you know, that Jesus has done, he says, so come boldly. And so we can come boldly to the throne of grace because of what Jesus has done. And the promise here is, is, is powerful for us. It's, it's that we will find mercy. We will find grace. It's not a, well, I don't know, but because of what he's done, because he is the priest, like what you're talking about um, uh, at Bible study, then, uh, then we will find these things. We will find mercy. We will find grace. And that's a, a huge part of the power yeah. of him being the priest. And, and I think also the tale on that is that he, he understands what we go through. Yeah. He sympathizes with us. He, he has seen it all. And, you know, something that uh, did we talk about, the, the fact that he is dual rolled in this. Yeah. Is that he is the priest. And in those days, the priest kind of facilitated the sacrifices and, and brought people to God. And here Jesus is not only that, but he is the sacrifice himself. He is yeah. the Lamb of God, as, as John the Baptist said when he saw Jesus coming, mm-hmm. who comes to take away the sin of the world. And, uh, you know, something if you'll notice today is we don't come in with a, a dove or a, a lamb that we have to come and sacrifice. We come into the presence of the Lord to offer a sacrifice of praise. Yeah. Uh, the reason we don't do sheep and doves anymore thankfully. is because, thankfully. absolutely, thankfully, <laughs> I, I, I got a weak stomach for that stuff. I wouldn't do well, um, is because Jesus was the sacrifice once for all. Let me read that to you. We were just talking about this verse in Hebrews 10, uh, Hebrews 10, 10. It says, and by that will, we have been made whole, holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Yeah. And I I also think something we discussed a little bit last night was that often we we look at the blood of the lamb and we realize that it means eternal salvation for us. If we're accepting of of Jesus' sacrifice uh, in our lives, uh, that's that's how we view it. But we don't view it from the the satisfaction God needed uh, of our sin. And he... Jesus' blood protected us from a just God's wrath yeah. uh, that we were all headed for. And, and if we don't know Christ, we're still headed for it. Uh, but to think that he stepped in and, and now that we're covered in the blood of the lamb, just as we talked about in Passover, uh, that's what God sees as the blood of the lamb. And then his wrath can pass over us. It's just and, a, and, and that's a huge point, the fact that he's priest mm-hmm. and he's lamb. He's right. everything you just talked about there. Right. 
who could do that but Jesus? Absolutely. You know, yeah. and that's why. So this study, uh, the the power of the names of Jesus yeah. is, is is really worth your time. Absolutely. And um, so we're we're excited about you being able to be a part. Just to let you know, if you weren't here this past Sunday, Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, uh, we had we had just had a great turnout. Um, it was a great morning mm-hmm. celebrating. And uh, we, we really enjoyed being able to see people. If you haven't come back, it's a great opportunity to do that. Um, and we've got some, just, some, just some great things going on uh, here at Praise. Absolutely. And so um, from the Bearded Bros, um, <laughs> I, I think they want to hear the Wednesday Night Recap again. One more time? Yeah. Wednesday Night Recap. <laughs> we promise we won't ever do that again, but we had to do it one more time. Hey, God bless you guys. Come on out. Wednesday nights is something for the whole family, but especially this power in the names of Jesus. God bless you guys. Have a great rest of the week. See you Sunday.